Uh, the highlight of my festival, strangely, was when it poured down all day Sunday because we've never had rain in the 10 years we've been running. And what it did was prove that the audience were loyal, they still wanted to come back and see Kasabian, that the infrastructure could handle it, all the staff could handle it. So it's a weird highlight, but it was an incredible moment to see it happen. So I'm opening up all of the fields, I'm moving luxury camping over the road, I'm moving the garden stage up to the other end of the site. What you need to do to keep people interested is keep changing things, I think. It's not necessarily true, that's just what I think. Um, we have deliberately gone on pre-sale with this year's ticket price without announcing any acts so that when we do increase the ticket price, when we announce an act, we can turn around and say you had the chance. I think the festival is great. It depends what you enjoy doing. There are lots of what used to be called boutique festivals, which are now becoming mainstream festivals. Um, and if you want to go with your family, I'd go to somewhere like Latitude, well, it all depends on what you're looking for, really, where you, whether you want to see a massive headliner or whether you want to see something quirky in the corner of a field. No, it doesn't make it any difference at all. Glastonbury every five years go fallow, and we've deliberately moved to their weekend next year for one year only because Half term was moved back a week and it's impossible to get all of our people and all of our infrastructure to the Isle of Wight, which is a holiday island, so in half term it would be jammed already. Everybody liked the vaccines, they thought they were fantastic. The pierces. Um, who did I see? Uh, Semi-precious weapons which hardly anybody knows, but I think they're brilliant and entertaining. They're like the New York Dolls or something like that. I think they've got a good chance. You know, all the obvious ones like Ed Sheeran and Jesse J, they're good acts already and big already. So it's the ones you can get third from the bottom in the big top down the road. That's where you spot something new and up and coming and great. It's Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, Janis Joplin, Amy Winehouse.